from the time we were filming in the summer, I had said to Mayor Evans, we, we will come back. I promise you we will come back. And I was just so happy that Paramount, before I could even say it out loud, Paramount was talking about we should bring the film to Selma. And I was, you know, giving the rallying cry of support for that because I knew how much it would mean to the people of this community. And they deserve to have this moment uh, because of their support for us. And we are so thrilled to be a part of an experience like this, you know, because an experience like this uh, takes a movie beyond being just a movie. You know, it puts it in the cultural zeitgeist in a way that every filmmaker hopes for, you know? This is what you wish for. I'd never been down here in Alabama, and so for me, the very first time coming from Montgomery to Selma and then the trek back from Selma to Montgomery, that 54 miles, you can't help but make that ride and think about all those people who put their lives at risk. You can't help but take that ride and look at all of those trees and the woods and the, you know, and this is 50 years later, so you know how ambushed they could have been. And uh, the decision that Dr. King made to turn around Tuesday, you understand now why that happened, because they wouldn't have had a chance. And so it is, um, you know, it's humbling, that's the word, in the truest sense of the word, to be able to literally walk in the footsteps of and to pass along the highway, the gravesite of Viola Luizzo, who was buried there, basically where she was shot down after the Montgomery speech. So it's an honor. And what it does for me is it makes you understand that look at what I have because of them. They had so far less opportunities, possibilities than I've been given because of them. And if they did that, I wonder what I can do.